all right welcome to the new channel i appreciate you watching uh, i want to do a voiceover in this first video i just wanted to give a recap of the day here and as well as what's going to be coming in the next few weeks on the channel so as far as for what's coming up i got a tournament on the 30th at sutton lake i'll be fishing as a co-angler i uh, got a tournament on the river may 8th and I'm probably going to have one trip at least I go maybe on the river again or Plum Orchard or something before the 30th. It just depends how the weather is. But I wanted to kind of do a recap of what the season's been so far. Uh, I had another tournament at Sutton this past Sunday. I wanted to make a video out of it, but the GoPro audio, you couldn't hear me talk, so I had to scrap it. I only had one keeper anyway. I, I didn't catch it till about 1 o'clock. Uh, it was on a jig, which is pretty ironic because I hate fishing a jig. I believe it took 13 and 3 quarters to win, 7 and a half to get in the money, and 25 boats blanked. I could have weighed my fish, but I had a two hour drive ahead of me. I got sunburned, I got windburn, and I just wasn't in the greatest of spirits. So obviously I hope it goes better than the previous week. Uh, we only have to have a three fish limit when we're fishing as a co angler in this format. So that's, I would think that's doable. I mean, you wouldn't think three fish would be so hard to catch, but you know, just depending on the conditions. Up there last week, it was bluebird skies, the wind was howling again, and you're going to have that this time of year. You just got to deal with it. Uh, fish are always biting somewhere. There's always going to be that hand group of guys that catch them. And even here in the video, you can see, you know, the wind isn't so bad at this particular time but it's bluebird skies if i could have it my way every time i went fishing it would be cloudy and calm it just seems to be when i do the best i mean with the exception of the spawn because you know you got to have the sunlight so you can see them on the beds but you know as far as for what else you can expect 80 to 90 percent of it's just going to be me fishing on the river may go to a lake here and there but I want to kind of mix it up a little bit so you all don't get burnt out on just me watching me fish all the time. I may post some uh, topics, have a debate on as far as fishing goes. Uh, I may tell you some lures that work certain times of the year in certain situations, just me personally. Like I say, just to switch it up a little bit because I don't want to keep posting the same stuff. I want to, I want to mix it up. And also let me know if you all prefer these voiceovers or if you would prefer just me to put music over the whole thing or a little bit of both. Uh, I know some people like context and other ones just like the music. Personally, I like a little bit of context to it so I know what I'm watching, but y'all just let me know. I'd appreciate it. And I do realize there's a lot of back and forth head movements. I've got you on a hat mount. That's just kind of what I got to work with right now. That's why I got to do this voiceover because my GoPro is an older one and it doesn't catch the audio very good. And I can't get an exporter microphone uh, just because it doesn't have a slot for it. But here's the first catch of the day. You know, anybody fishes the river knows this ain't no secret spot. You know, it's one of the best spots in the springtime. Uh, that fish there, as you're about to see here in a minute, it was 13 inches. So, I mean, if we were in a tournament, that would be a keeper. Uh, any, any keeper fish has to be over 12 inches in a tournament. But yeah, as far as the hat mount goes, like I said, that's what I'm working with right now. Uh, short term solution, I could get a tripod and just do everything on my phone. But during the summer months, I'm afraid of my phone overheating. Uh, I just don't really have the money to go dropping $300 on a new GoPro right now. I just kind of got to work with what I got. Uh, I don't like that chest mount. I think it gets in the way. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that, third, that first fish there is 13 inches on the dot. Uh, that was his first fish of the day. It was about 1.30, 2 o'clock. And I don't know if I've mentioned this yet or not, but the water temperature was anywhere between 58 and 61. Uh, it should be about time for him to be spawning, especially the smallmouth. Smallmouth tend to spawn when it's 62 to 65, and then the largemouth go when it's 65 to 70. That's just at least what I've found to be true. Some of them go earlier. Some of them go later. But I figure in the next week or two, it's going to get really good. I just think with the weather the way it's been like I say it's been 80 degrees during the week and then 
three, four weekends in a row, we've had big cold fronts come through. So I think that's what's keeping most of them deep right now. But anyway, we fished here for a little bit longer, never had any other bites. So we decided to head out and then we went back to where we started there at the green sign. And instead of going down the bank, we went up the bank. It's kind of just a mud flat, but that's, again, that's another good place where they like to spawn. And just my personal opinion, I think largemouth are harder to catch. These are more largemouth areas that we're fishing. Uh, if it was just me, I would have went up the river fishing for smallmouth. I just think they're more active and they're easier to catch. I mean, you can still catch smallmouth down the river. It's just, it's more of a largemouth area. And you're about to see here in this next clip, this is pretty much sums my day up. Yep, my only fish of the day, and I ended up losing it. I mean, it was it was close to a keeper, probably a little bit short, but, you know, I had already been four hours. I didn't get to bite, and I was sitting there trying to mess with the camera on my head, trying to get it turned on so I could at least get part of the fish catch on camera. And I was sitting there messing around with it for too long, and he shook it off, and it was a small mouth, too, which was kind of surprising. And that's the thing with these older GoPros. You know, once that battery goes, I mean, you're done for the day. You can't do any more filming. And I just have to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, just so I can preserve the battery throughout the day. I mean, by the time the day was over, I still had half the battery, but I just don't want to continuously record and then not get any bites. And then, you know, the battery goes dead, then we start catching them. I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose. And we decided in this clip, we moved on up the river. Uh, he caught one on a jig, which just happened to be my jig on my pole that I've been throwing half the day and he just happens to pick it up and catches one the second cast. And no, I hadn't quit fishing for the day. I had just happened to sit down and get a drink. And you can see here that this fish is a keeper. I mean, you gotta pinch his tail and make him touch the 12 inch mark, but he would be a keeper. So that'd be two keepers that we'd have if we were in a tournament. You know, that still wouldn't do anything for you. Even on the river, you've got to have five. I mean, they can be five 12 inches or you know, sometimes they really go out and catch them. I'd say an average, it would take six to eight pounds to get in the money on the river. Usually on these lakes, it takes a little bit more, but anyway. Uh, at this point, it's like six o'clock, and I still haven't caught a fish. He's caught, I think, three or four. There was one or two I wasn't able to get on camera. Uh, I mean, I've threw everything. I've... Well, not everything. I've threw Ned rigs. I've threw a wacky rig. Anybody that's ever fished with me knows that a wacky rig is pretty much my go-to. But even this year and last year, it just hasn't seemed to produce like it used to. I uh, threw a spooner bait, a uh, square bill, uh, a few different other crank baits, a uh, creature bait. I mean, I just, I don't know. And you can see here in another clip that he's done caught another one. I mean, we're fishing the same stuff. I and mean, he's catching them out of the back of the boat. It usually doesn't work that way. You know, he, it just may be he's working it slower than me, uh, different colors, or I, I don't know. I really didn't know. I was getting kind of frustrated at that point, not going to lie to you. And he catches the fish, and then I go throw in there, and I, he catches the fish, and I catch the hang up about to get a quarter ounce jig in my face. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Uh, he ended up catching five, two keepers and three shorts. I ended up catching zero. But anyway, if you all enjoyed, uh, please like and subscribe. I would like to start posting at the very least every other week. Preferably at least, preferably once a week, but at the very least once every other week. You know, I don't know what it is. It seems like I catch them really good, or he catches them really good. We never both go out there and catch them good. I mean, we he fishes a lot slower than I do. So some days that works good, and some days it don't. But again, appreciate you watching, and see you next time.